Hi, this is James from tracyandmat.co.uk and from boxings.com and I'm here with the HTC Incredible S uh, which was announced the other week at Mobile World Congress. So, we shall uh, have a look and see what's in the box. We'll uh, have a quick look around the device and then take a butcher's at the, uh, the software as well and uh, see what this one's got to offer. So there we have the device on top, and we'll uh, put that to one side and come back to that in just a minute. Let's see what else we've got in here. There's something, I don't know what that is, it's a sticker of some sort. Okay, so here we have the, uh, quite clearly we have the plug. Next up we have some earphones, so we've got a uh, three and a half mil jack and these are fairly uh, box standard HTC ones, they don't feel too bad, I'm not sure how comfortable they'll be though so we'll, uh, we'll test those out in the review. We've got some extra earbuds there, um, there's also a little clip in there so you can clip it to your shirt or your tie or whatever you want to do. up we have uh, the USB part of the plug which uh, goes in like so and then finally we have the, uh, the sync charge cable which is uh, USB to micro USB and obviously for charging purposes that goes in there like so Put those bits back in the box for the moment. <clears throat> and I suspect there's some uh, information in here as well. So here we've got the uh, the warranty statement. The incredible S quick start guide, safety instructions, and contact us details for HTC. All very nicely presented. So let's move on to the actual device itself. <clears throat> we'll, uh, we'll zoom in a little bit for this one. Okay, so we'll start off, start off on the back and we've obviously got the uh, eight megapixel uh, camera lens there. Beside that we've got uh, uh, the LED flashes and beside that is what looks like a speaker grill of some sort. So on the left hand side of the device uh, we've got the up down volume rocker underneath that we've got the micro USB port over on the right hand side nothing at all that's totally flush on the top we've got a power button and we've got the uh, headset jack there nothing on the bottom there's a tiny little hole there which is obviously the microphone and on the front, um, we've got a speaker grill at the top there. There's obviously sensors here at the top, I can't see those, but uh, we've also got now the uh, front facing camera, which is uh, new with these uh, new HTC devices. There's no physical buttons at the, uh, at the bottom there. We'll, uh, we'll get to see those once we turn it on. So uh, let's just have a quick look inside the back cover and see what's going on in there first. It's fairly easy to, to get off. <clears throat> so there we have uh, the battery, which will use uh, 1450 milliamp power. SIM card slots in there, which we won't bother at the moment. And let's see where the, uh, oh, the micro SD goes in there, that little slot there. So I'll put the battery in and uh, start this beast up. Hopefully the uh, battery's got some power in it. Yes, it has. <coughs> Excuse me. So while that uh, powers up, I'll just give you a uh, very brief rundown of the uh, specifications on the HTC uh, Incredible S. 
Uh, processor is at one gigahertz. It's obviously running uh, Android uh, with HTC Sense. Um, the device is shipped with Android 2.2, but it's, it will be upgradable to 2.3 very shortly. That's what HTC said. Uh, dimensions are uh, 120 mil by 64 by 11.7 millimeters thick. Uh, weighs 135.5 grams. Uh, display is oops. Display is a uh, four inch uh, with a 480 by, res eight, 480 by 800 resolution. Um, we've got the normal G sensor, digital compass, um, the ambient light sensor, Bluetooth 2.1, uh, Wi-Fi hosted to dot. 1.1 BGN, um, as I say, the camera is 8 megapixel with the autofocus and it's a dual LED flash. Uh, supports 720p HD video recording and the, uh, the camera on the front of the device is a, a 1.3 megapixel. So, we're ready to go. And obviously we're going to have to go through some initial startup here. We'll skip that. We'll skip that. And we'll skip that. Uh, we'll skip that. And what we need to do is we need to connect to the. Uh, I think the best thing to do is connect to the uh, Wi-Fi. Let me just uh, grab my password for that because it's a new password. Sorry about that. Um, Bear with me while I just put this in. Okay, that should now connect. Mind you saying that normally when I do these videos I manage to put the password in wrong. Connected. Nice one. Now I have got a Google account, but I won't bother setting that up just uh, at this moment. So obviously now the uh, HTC Sense is going to load. Just give that a moment. Okay, there we go. So obviously, <clears throat> obviously the home screen is made up of uh, seven separate home screens, as we've seen before with HTC Sense. Notification bar at the top. So let's have a look and see what we've got uh, that comes bulk standard here. We've got the uh, Adobe Reader, and we've got the Amazon MP3 store, calculator calendar, call history, camcorder camera. We'll have a quick look at the camera. And uh, let's take a photo of the knife. It's nice and quick, and obviously this lets you uh, export straight away to uh, Facebook or email, that sort of thing. We've got the car panel, we've got the clock, media, Facebook, we've got the flashlight, FM radio, French stream, gallery. Let's see if there's any sample pictures on here. And this will be a good opportunity for me to uh, highlight the uh, the buttons at the bottom of the screen here. I don't know if uh, you're aware, but uh, they're not physical buttons. They're kind of a display. So, um, and they actually change when you rotate the phone. So if we look at the arrow button here, and then rotate the phone, you'll see it flips. Which is pretty clever if you ask me. I like that. Pictures certainly look fantastic on the uh, Incredible S. What else have we got here? Um, we've obviously, got Gmail, Google Search, HC Hub, HTC Likes. We've got the internet. We'll have a quick look at the browser. And we'll go to Tracy and Matt. Apart from I can't spell or I can't type. <clears throat> there we go. 
So that renders pretty quickly. Obviously it works in uh, both landscape and portrait. And double tap to zoom, or we can pinch the zoom, as you would expect. Might as well add that as a bookmark while, while I'm there. I must say it does look very good on this uh, 4.3 inch screen, rather impressive. So what else we got, we've got latitude, learn more locations, mail, maps, we've got the Android market, built in, messages, music, navigation, news, news and weather peep, people, phone, places, quick look up. Quick office reader, search, settings, let's have a quick look in there. All fairly basic stuff. And then we can see we're running uh, Android 2.2.1. Uh, .2 We've got stocks, we've got Google Talk, we've got the uh, Tita game, you've got to have that, an HTC device. Transfer data, uh, we've got uh, Twitter for Android preloaded. Videos, let's have a quick look at terms. Oh, none on that. Voice recorder, voice search, weather, Wi Fi hotspot, that will come in handy, and uh, YouTube. Let's have a quick look at this, see how this performs. Um, let's do a search for, uh, do a search for Tracy and Matt. See if that brings up anything. There we go. Um, we'll have a quick look at the, the wildfire unboxing. This is Matt from tracyandmatt.co.uk and for unboxings.com. And I have another white box product, and this time it's the HTC Wildfire. We're going to have a quick look at this and uh, see what we've got inside the box. Scratching. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, the other thing I will we will have a quick look at is um, let's see if there's any music tracks on here. There we go. If we go to the settings, I'll we'll try to sound enhance actually. There we go. We'll put the SRS enhancement on because that should sound pretty good. All looks very pretty. Obviously, we can see the uh, the running apps here at the top, and obviously, uh, from here we can personalise sense. We can uh, change the uh, all the widgets. We can add shortcuts uh, and apps, uh, and we can change the scenes. So there should be some preloaded like this. Obviously, this is standard stuff that we've uh, we've seen before. So, that is a very quick insight into the uh, HTC Incredible S. We'll obviously have a full review of this on the site in the next week or two. In the meantime, thanks very much for watching.